Kado Malikov had been asked to help with a broken down car when his attackers struck. He was stabbed in the face and taken to hospital. Malikov speaks out against Daesh, which has been blamed for the attack, and he's advised the government on the issue, but doesn't think it's getting it right. Because of economic situation, corruption, yeah, uh, use, ideologically, you know, now um, uh, use uh, uh, looking for their uh, orientation, you know, in Islam, in the religion. But unfortunately, uh, our, uh, our government, of course, uh, tried to control all the mosques in the countries. This is what's left of a building in an upmarket area of Bishkek. Behind these walls is a house that was the scene of a raid by security forces last year. Four people were killed in the operation, including Kyrgyz and Kazakh nationals. The government said the house was being used by Daesh. They seize weapons and a Daesh flag. One of the places the government says they were trying to target was here, the old square in front of the Kyrgyz parliament. Last year, there would have been thousands of people celebrating the Islamic festival of Eid. And that's when officials say they were going to strike. Kyrgyzstan is an overwhelmingly Muslim country. Since gaining independence in 1991, more mosques have been built than ever before. But it also has a secular constitution. And that sparked a debate about religion's role in society. Billboards have appeared criticizing the way some women dress and the government believes many people are being misinformed about Islam. With religious extremism, we cannot stop it by just using force or the law. That's why we have had to fill the information space, which had previously been full of the wrong interpretation of religion. This is all down to religious education, so we had to provide religious information to people. But for some, it isn't just about religion. It's about Kyrgyzstan being one of the poorest countries in Central Asia. Ministers say they're trying to tackle the lack of opportunities. In the meantime, some people are looking for their opportunities in Syria and Iraq. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan.